In this video, I'm going to be showing you a cover four match defense for trips tight in, how to use it, why it works, and what you need to know about the issues with it. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player. I'm trying to get better at this game every single day here on YouTube, and we post about eight videos a day that are designed to help you kind of follow along with what we're learning and what we're discovering. And so if you're interested, it's completely free to subscribe. I would highly encourage you to, to do that. That way you never miss um, one of our tip videos or one of our uploads. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about kind of a, a, a two-folded defense um, and how it works against trips tied in. Now, one of the things that it's really important to understand uh, when, you're defend, when you're playing defense in Madden is... You will, you will defend trips tight end differently than you will defend bunch, differently than you will defend bunch tight end, differently than you will defend strong close. But there are some carryover principles and some concepts that will carry over um, from formation to formation. So that's important to remember. And today I'm talking to you about a, a match defense out of my 335 wide defensive guide. So if you want to get a sample um, to the defensive ebook, that link, or um, all you got to do is hit me up via text message. My number's in the top left-hand corner. Also, if you have any questions today, you can hit me up there as well. And if you want to uh, pick up the defensive ebook, it is in the description. It's the same ebook that I've used uh, to qualify for the Madden Classic uh, tournament. So if you guys want to pick that up, that's in the description. Okay, so first and foremost, we want to talk a little bit about trips tied in and kind of some of the concepts that you're going to see. Um, really quickly, we're going to walk you through our coaching adjustments, and we have auto flip on, auto alignment. We want to set this to man align whenever we're defending trips tight end. Uh, cornerback or ball in our defense, I like this to put it on play receiver when I'm playing this because um, essentially if you're in a position where you can't click on and make a pick, they'll just play the receiver. Now, if you want to put this to play ball, you can do that as well, but I think that's a little bit more risky. So I like play receiver. Cornerback matchups, we're going to put that on balanced. Option defense on conservative, and then everything else is on default, as you can see here. Everything else is on default. Now, the defense comes out of the 335 wide, and it's the cover four show two. So, you see that I have that in my audibles here. And the beauty of this is this is kind of a it's honestly kind of a hidden match coverage within the 335. You might think that it would be a cover four drop just based on the, the concept of the, the wording of the phrase, but in reality, it's actually a cover four match defense. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in our 335 normal cover four drop, which I believe is the best base defense in the entire game. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to immediately audible into the cover four show two, as you can see from this, this look right here. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, from this point right here, what I'd like to do is I like to pinch my defense. I think that's going to help me a lot in terms of how I defend trips. And then the last couple of setups here that we're going to be able to, to really going to be able to do is we are going to do two things. We're going to, number one, we are going to take this linebacker on the right side of the screen, and we are going to man him up on somebody. It doesn't matter. It's whoever you want to man him up on. Typically, um, typically what I will do is I will normally man him up on the slot receiver or on the outside receiver and just know that I'm responsible for the slot, okay? Um so you could man him up on square, you know, triangle. Um, you could also man him up on the running back. It's actually a really effective strategy, in my opinion, to man him up on the running back. That's setup one. Another way you could set this up is to basically bluff blitz that linebacker. So we're going to bluff blitz Amos. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, defensive end on the right side of the screen here, and we could put him into a man coverage on the running back and pass commit. Either one of those... Either way, you could do it. So the other way that you could also do this is you could do the same thing, except the only difference is now what you're going to do is you're going to bluff blitz your defensive end, and then you're going to man up your outside linebacker. So it's up to you as far as where you want that three rep going. I typically will do it like this right here, or uh, I will do it like this, right? I'll, I'll, bl I'll bluff blitz the nose tackle. You always want to be pass committing here. But essentially what you're going to see happen is the defense will basically play a lot of the popular route combinations. So uh, we're going to start with doubles and sale. This is probably, if you played in the Mountain Classic, this is probably one of the defenses that gave people the, the, the most difficult time um, was something like this right here. Um, essentially, 
this setup right here is absolutely insanely hard to stop. And what you're going to notice about this cover four defense is whenever I motion uh, Valdez Scantling, so like right here you would man him up on square, whenever I motion him to the left side, you see that the defense will change. You see it will flow with him naturally. And now you have a basically traditional cover four match. And if they try to throw this corner out, you're going to intercept that every single time. Okay? So that's what's really nice about the defense is it really takes away the corner routes. Um, another popular setup from uh, Trips Tied In would be something like this setup right here out of curl flat. Essentially, we're going to drag Adams. We're going to... Um, we're going to... Uh, smart route Robert Tunyon and what you'll see here is again we're going to set the defense up exactly the same um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to drop that three rack from the middle whoops we're going to drop that three rack from the middle right there and then we're going to man up Valdez Scantling again and now what you'll see is once again what, what we're going to do here is now we're going to motion Devontae Adams from right or from left to right and the defense you're going to see is going to flip and we're going to snap right here, and we're going to try to throw this corner out, and it's going to be picked every single time. That's why I love this defense. This defense is absolutely amazing at taking that stuff away, and that's really the power of the defense in and of itself. Now, the, the next feature of it is the crossing routes. Obviously, uh, Trips Tight End is known for its crossing routes, but if you actually think about the crossing routes for a second, most of the time, if you're playing someone from Trips Tight End, especially if you're playing them in regs, because regs is a lot different than mutt, they can't put the tight end on a crossing route. So it makes them a little bit more limited in what they can do um, from an offensive perspective. So what you'll see here is now um, the only player that can go on a crossing route, and this is where we'll put that, that linebacker on a three rack, and we'll man up the running back here to keep that hard flat or that, that take away the flat route. But now what you'll see is this is curl flat, right? Just a quick snap setup out of curl flat. And I want you to watch what's going to happen here. So play goes, running back gets pretty much matched, and we're, our job is always the crossing route from left to right. If they run a crossing route from left to right, that's our play every single time. Crossing route from left to right is our play. Now, one other little adjustment that I want to share with you today, and this is something that I use in the Madden Classic to really take away a lot of the popular concepts. The beauty of audibling for, to 335 wide from 335 normal is that you can cross man your linebackers onto receivers. So, for example, another popular play that people will use out of the play X spot is you will see something like the following. You will see essentially a... Uh, maybe an out route to Adams, maybe a streak to Valdez Scantling, you know, and then maybe a something like something like this right here. You could see this. You could also see double drags, you know, two underneath routes to the interior receivers, but basically is what it is. And then obviously um, the motion over of the post route. Now cover four match once again. So whoever gets motioned over, that's who I man up with that linebacker. So. Uh, right here, he gets motioned over, so I quickly man him up on the linebacker, and I want you to watch this route combination. Pretty much everything's taken away. You see the, the wheel route's not even open, and everything's bagged, and you're going to get an instant shed for a sack. This is the beauty of this defense. It can really give Tripside in a lot of issues, in my opinion. Um, one of the other concepts that you're going to see a lot is you're going to see something like this PA counter go, right? This is a very popular setup. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to do that same kind of theory. So we're going to basically do this setup right here. This is probably one of my personal favorite setups. And um, as I throw my controller on the ground, I'm going to have to reset the audible here. But cover four, show two. Blitz your user. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do our three rec hook. Okay. So what I like to do is three rec hook the nose tackle if I'm not going to be three rec hooking the linebacker. Okay. And right here, let me just clarify again the motion snap. So we're going to motion snap Tavon Austin. So as soon as they motion snap, then you man up, just like that right there. The cover four defense resets itself. And what you'll see now is, once again, cover four, and there is nothing open. There is nothing open on that play, completely bagged. That's how you stop trips tight end. That's at least a couple of concepts of how you do it. Um, there are a ton of other things in our ebook about how to stop this and the bunch, um, two of the most popular setups. Um, I played the Madden Classic, and I think I played ten games, and I lost two of them. And between both consoles, and out of all of my games in the Madden, actually I think I played a 12 games, I think it was 12 and 2, but out of all of the games that I played in the Madden Classic, um, 80 to 90% of the players that I played ran either Trips Tight End or Gun Bunch. 
and I believe that that meta is going to continue on throughout this, the tournament. So if you're looking for something to stop that, this will help you a ton with trips tight end. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get a free sample to the 335 wide ebook, um, text me. My number is 812. 216-3644. And if you want to get the full defensive guide, it is in the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching. And I also want to invite you to our live stream tonight. We're going to be streaming our NFC Championship game in our CFM for the PlayStation 4. If you want to sign up for the PS4, you can always hit me up via text as well. Thanks for your time. And just a quick reminder, if you want to get that ebook, it is in the description of this video.